Today we're going to be doing like a hardcore beat tutorial kind of video. This is to get a sound similar to Death Grips, Bones, Ghost Man, Omen 13, Beeman, and so on. It's not an exact tutorial for any of these guys, but it's just kind of a all-around hardcore beat tutorial, I guess. The biggest thing that separates Death Grips is probably their use of live drums and we're not going to be doing any of that today, but if you do have a drum set and some mics available, I definitely recommend setting something up and recording that instead. You don't really need anything fancy to make these kinds of beats though, just any synth and drum kit will be fine. You just gotta be able to process the sounds right. I am going to be using Omnisphere though, and mainly in the distorted section just because those sounds are really good and easy to work with. This music is also kind of experimental sounding, so don't be afraid to play around with anything weird, put, putting on like weird plugins and using different phasers and bit crushers and stuff like that.
that's it for melodies and bass. So now for the drums, like I was saying before, you can really use any drum kit. I'm gonna be using this Wonder Girl drum kit that I've had for a while, uh, but I will just kinda of be doing minor different stuff like adding in EQs that I wouldn't normally add in and putting a bit crusher on pretty much all the drums. Something that I also recommend doing for the drums, I didn't do it in this video, but you can also add uh, parallel compression to the drums. This will give it like a nice kind of unique, crunchy, punchy sound. It's really easy to do on Logic. If you don't know what that is, just go into YouTube and type in how to parallel compress if you want to do that. Mixing will be a little bit different for these kinds of beats, meaning that you really want to overdrive everything to make it sound extra aggressive and loud. So don't be afraid if you see any clipping. You probably want a little bit of clipping anyways, so if you see any of the channels or the master output in red, just don't worry about it unless it sounds really bad and just kind of like ear rape distortion level, then, then maybe bring it down a little bit. But the whole point of this is to give like a low quality sound, so don't overthink the mix too much. And when you finish the track, the waveform should probably look like this. The last thing you should consider is to add some sort of phaser or flanger onto the master and just kind of play around with it. This isn't necessary, but I think it helps give it that extra flavor it needs and makes it sound kind of more trippy and distorted. So anyways, that's really it. Thanks so much for watching and make sure to hit like and subscribe. It really helps me out and here's the finished beat.